Almighty. We have gathered here today, Jews, true to the Torah, true, true to the Jewish religion, to stand in opposition to the Zionist demonstration across from the Iranian embassy. The Zionists constantly attempt to present themselves as representatives of the Jews, of the Jewish people, of the Jewish religion, and of the Jews who died al Kiddush Hashem to sanctify God's name by the Holocaust. What a calamity, what an abomination this is. Our relatives, our parents and grandparents who died to sanctify God's name in the Holocaust have to be, have to stand in the, in the skies are in the heavens and looking down and crying when they see what the, how this, the audacity of the Zionists that they come out and they make a memorial for the Holocaust supposedly for their business which they call the Holocaust and then they go and they antagonize and condemn nations nations that have given a home for the Jewish people the Muslim nations the Arab nations that were a home for the Jews for hundreds and literally thousands of years and the Zionists in order to cement their existence, the state of Israel, this abomination, a rebellion against God, the state of Israel, they come and they vilify every person in every country and every state that opposes their thievery, their occupation of Palestine. And we as Jewish people stand up in opposition, representatives from around the world, from Al Quds, from Jerusalem, from London, from New York, from Australia, from around the world. Every Jewish community that is true to the Torah and to God stands up and says no, they have no right to represent us. They've hijacked, the Zionists have hijacked the Jewish symbols and the Jewish identity. We as Jews who are true to the Torah are forbidden to have a state and we're forbidden to steal, we're forbidden to kill, we're forbidden to occupy and oppress the people of Palestine or anybody. And we have to be loyal citizens in every country we're residing. We come out here to announce to the world our thankfulness, our gratitude to the country of Iran for being a home, for respecting and protecting the Jewish people, contrary to what this evil Zionism states that, these, that Iran is a, is a nation that wants to destroy the Jewish people. Let the world know that as we are standing here today, in Iran there are synagogues and Jewish communities that are serving God with the protection and the support of the Islamic Republic of Iran. They respect, as our, my colleague and my teacher, Rabbi Beck states, Rabbi Beck, who was in the bunkers during the Holocaust in Budapest, he was in Iran. He himself saw how they respect these, the, 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 the monuments and the cemeteries of the Jewish people of the prophets, of our holy prophets and of our sages. We traveled around Iran together from one for the length and breadth of Iran and we saw with our own eyes with what respect they give for the Jewish dead and the Jewish living and the Zionists. How hypocritical, how ironic. These are the Zionists who are constantly uprooting and destroying the graves of our forefathers for archaeological purposes and for mundane reasons just to build streets and they are beating brutally the Jewish people who oppose them. They're trying to conscript into the armies Jewish people who refuse to serve in their army to rebel against God. They threaten them with arrest, with punishment and beating till they die. People have died under their hands for over 60 years from the Jewish people and the Palestinian people. We are standing here to cry out our, our anguish, to cry our hurt and let the world know that we hurt, we suffer and we are humiliated by what is being done to the Palestinian people in our name. 
what is being done to our Jewish brethren, all at the hands of this rebellion against God, this abomination called the State of Israel, the Zionist State of Israel. And if there is a place to go, it is to Iran, to escape from the hands of these Zionists. We are thankful to the United States of America for protecting us here. And in Canada, in every country, Jews are given protection. Where do Jews stand in, 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 the, in the greatest danger? In the state of Israel. Let the world know the state of Israel is the greatest rebellion against God and the greatest danger for Jews and the cause, the cause of endless bloodshed and animosity and rift between Jews and Muslims and the Arabs and the world. We want the world to understand this. Open your eyes and see. So stand together with us and pray with us for the speedy and total dismantlement of the state of Israel and let it be revealed to the world. The falseness, the hypocrisy, and the rogue state of Israel should not exist even one more minute. Stand up together with us and cry out to the leaders of the world that they should recognize that Jews are true to Judaism and that we will never accept the state of Israel and that we apologize profusely to the Islamic Republic of Iran, to the people of Palestine and Lebanon. And we hope and we look forward to the day for a free, totally free Palestine that we can ultimately return the homes to the Palestinian people, their self-rule, their respect, and that we should be able to embrace and serve God as we've had for hundreds of years without any UN protection, we were able, although we have different religions, distinctly different religions, we were able to coexist in peace and harmony and we were able to show our gratitude to the nations for protecting us with the dismantlement of the state of Israel, with the removal of this impediment to peace and the cause of bloodshed, the Zionist state of Israel, we will once again be able to live together in peace and normal coexistence. God help, soon in our day. Amen.